It's been about six months since we introduced you to Bob Emilio. Bob's legs are paralyzed, but a new device known as the exoskeleton has given him the ability to walk. VOA's Carolyn Pursuti was there. Carolyn joins me now for an update on Bob and uh, Carolyn. How are things going with this with this guy? It's going great for Bob. I just spoke with him just several minutes ago. You know, when we first saw him, he was taking maybe 50, 60 steps at a time. Mm -hmm. He's up to 1,000, and he can stand for a complete hour. So he had to get in shape, just to remind the audience, you, you don't just stick this device on. He had to sort of get in shape before he could wear it, right? Absolutely, and especially his arm strength. He needed to be able to push himself up from his wheelchair to stand up. And he said, you know, when he first started, he was gripping that walker mm -hmm. very tightly he said now he barely touches it when he walks and when we last uh, talked uh, Bob had mentioned that he had made a promise to his daughter and what was that right that promise was to walk her down the aisle Trish Emilio had never seen or never remembered her father walking because she was a little yeah, tight too small. right when he had his injury his spinal cord injury and so he did walk her down the aisle oh and goodness. with a huge smile on his face. I mean, I can only imagine. I mean, here you are, uh, his daughter, and your dad's coming down the aisle. He's walking for the first time. I mean, what's happening at her wedding is must be her, <laughs> her makeup must be flooding down her face. You're right. <laughs> he said I to mean, me, he said he kept on telling her, breathe, just yeah, breathe. He said, it. if you inhale, you'll naturally exhale. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> so he kept telling her that, and everyone I mean, in I, the I, church I, was just... I can't imagine what that must have been like. Yeah. So he's walking with a different uh, apparatus or something? He what is, is. he now has the ability to walk with leg braces. So what that means is he doesn't have that huge apparatus around his trunk portion of his body and the therapists are more there just to guide him. They don't really assist him as much. So just the braces and then he has small crutches just to help him out in front of it, not the walker. Because it's interesting that he's advancing and, right. and of course the EXO is very kind of cumbersome and, and bulky mm -hmm. uh, yet, but now the braces are, are less than that. Absolutely. And more streamlined Absolutely. and lighter for him. Right, and he said he has another goal now. And what because is Because he has three daughters. First daughter, he wheeled her down the aisle. Second mm -hmm. daughter, which you know okay. was just a month ago, he walked her down the aisle. Third daughter, he said he wants to use those leg braces to walk her down the aisle whenever she's ready to get married. She's not quite oh ready yet. Oh, my goodness. Are, are there more people using this device? Absolutely. When we first brought you the story of the exoskeleton about a year ago, um, there were dozens in America, but not too many. Now there are 80 exoskeletons worldwide, and they're in various countries um, from uh, South Africa to Turkey to the Czech Republic, Mexico, Canada. Um, they're really expanding in, into different areas, and they say, as of right now, 11 million steps have been taken with people suited up in the exoskeleton, and that's four times as many as when we first brought you this I mean, story. It was really incredible, for, especially for yes. people who cannot walk, and the future looks bright for them down the road. Absolutely. All right, VOA's Carolyn Pursuti, thanks for coming on and updating us about Bob. A great story, and thanks for following it for oh, us. Oh, my pleasure.